Oops. Oh. Alright. Hey guys, uh, so I'm still here with another quick update for you guys. Um, me and my brother are going to be showing you how to do, uh, some quick little farming techniques. Um, after I show you my little sugarcane farm over here, he has a clip ready, uh, for you on another farming that he'll talk to you about because I don't really understand it. So, here we go. Um, from what I understand, for sugarcane, you're just supposed to make it by water, so I made it all the way out here in the open where there's plenty of water, and as you can see from this water, I tried to make it over here, and I screwed up placing a block, and I fall in the water. That's cool. Let's get back up there, and the current got all screwed up, so I had to move it over here. Um, and here we go. Just made a big old square square and just put it like on the outside here and the cool thing about sugar cane is you probably already know you can just walk through it so firm and it's easy you just target the middle one and keep looking ta -da! and it all falls out um the problem i noticed was though is it falls everywhere so like um i had a block off down underneath the water with dirt so when the sugar cane fell it didn't like fall down to the dark abyss and you drown trying to get it so doing that <clears throat> so you come over here do to that one that one yay get some more there we go there it is. and pick it all up even with this a little amount um every time you come and farm it i've been getting like a little over two stacks which is a lot, as you saw in my previous video, I said I was going to be getting bookshelves for my library uh, that I was making. So I'm using the sugar cane here to create paper. From paper you make books, and then from the books you wood and paper bookshelves. Um, I'm not going to display what I have the, um, the library until I'm actually finished with it, so I'll probably see that in a little bit of episodes. Um, so yeah, that's um, a little shears in the farm here that I made. Probably shouldn't really be using the shears here, I'm probably wasting power on it, I don't know. Um, so, uh, my brother, Zarephus, he's going to be showing you his farm uh, here, and then after he's done, uh, the video is going to end. And we'll see you guys next time. Um, if you are enjoying the videos and you want to see more, uh, please subscribe and just leave some comments below what maybe you think we can do or any suggestions that we can make. You now we're always open to new things. Oh, and last thing, we also imported Buildcraft onto the server since he finally updated to 1.73. So um, stay tuned for more. Uh, cool stuff. We're going to be building, you know, some stuff with that. So, yeah. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright. What's up, YouTube? What I'm doing now is building a farm for us to have food, because we currently have none, and I'm tired of jumping off our house to kill ourselves for health. So, it's pretty basic design. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. It's the, like, multi-tiered semi-automatic farm. So what you do here, well, first we'll do this. To build it, you have to do seven blocks of water wide. Right here is eight, to prove an example. It doesn't fall, which is not needed. Or, which you need to, like, yeah, you need to make it fall down. Because it hydrates four blocks over, water does, on the current level that it's on. So these four blocks would get, um, these four blocks would get hydrated when tilled, which is exactly what we need to do. And currently this is eight, to prove an example that these would not and nothing would grow. But we go over here, drop this water down, travel seven blocks from the source, so bam, it drops down. All this would then get hydrated. And over here is where all the water that will eventually drain out in the automatic well, not really automatic, but whatever drain system comes into here flows down this way. And it will fall down into this hole right here for easy collecting. Pretty cool design. I saw um, one commenter that I like, Pvat, he does it. Or he used the design. 
and he got it off some YouTube video, I'm sure. So that's how that works. And to build it, what you have to do is make an open block, or open space, four blocks over, and then this is going to be the walkway, which I filled in with sand right now. You can make it whatever you want, dirt, whatever. So that's one, and then another four over, and then the other water one, and then obviously the outer walls. So that's like what, like 12 blocks, I think? Um, yeah, whatever number that is. I'm not going to sit here and count. It's late, I don't get to count me. And for constructing each tier, you just go block, 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 block. And then you just repeat that for seven over, and then bring it up a level, go seven again. I normally do three tiers. You can go much higher, but then it just takes longer, and you really won't need that much wheat, because I think the three tier one is... I think it yields about, I think it was 178 wheat when it's everything's fully grown, which is a lot, and I'm sure you won't need any more than that for a long time. But yeah, it's really simple, nice, pretty basic design, and a lot of wheat for profit. So yeah, that is a quick little tutorial on basic farming. You'll see it at the end, I'm sure, as the series goes on more and more, and I'll end up draining it out and showing everyone how it's done. So yeah, that is that. Peace out.